in Amazon SageMaker Studio, you can explore a wide variety of machine learning assets. These include pre-built solutions, pre-trained models, example notebooks, and so on. You can use the Jumpstart search pane to find the desired resource. Today, we will be using Stable Diffusion 2.1 base text to image model, which is fine tunable. Once you click on the model card, you, you will be directed to deploy and train pane. If you scroll down, you can find the information related to the model. This includes the licensing term, how to use the deployed model for inference, and how to train the model on your own data set. This includes directions on how to configure your data set for training. Let's scroll back up. You can either use the pre-trained model for deployment as is, or you can train the model on your own data set. Jumpstart provides a default data set for training, but you can select your own data set by providing the S3 path. You can select the instance type you want to use for training, the model name, and so on. You can also select the hyperparameters that fit your use case. Once you have selected all of that, please click Train. Once you click Train in Jumpstart, Jumpstart starts a training job on SageMaker. Training may take time depending on the size of the datasets and the hyperparameter configuration. On the default dataset, it takes about 20 minutes to train. Once the model is trained, you can deploy the model on SageMaker. You can select an instance type which is different from the training instance type. You can select the endpoint name and other configurations. Once you are done, please click on deploy to deploy the model. Jumpstart deploys the model on SageMaker. Right now the model is in preparing stage. After a while, it will get in in-service stage. Once the model gets in in-service stage, it is ready to be used for inference. Jumpstart provides an example notebook on how to run inference against a deployed model. You can simply execute this notebook, the endpoint name is prefilled. Please make sure to change the prompt according to your own dataset. Once you are done using the model, please make sure to delete the endpoint to avoid extra charges. You can find all the endpoints you have again in Launch Jumpstart Assets Model Endpoints. You can delete an endpoint by simply clicking Delete. 